when it has been years since anyone's heard anything but static and white noise on the radio, who could still believe we are not alone on this earth? My wife, my comrades from the Order, my friends, people from my station. Nobody believes me. They are sure that there's nothing on the radio. Sure that save for us, who hid in Moscow Metro, there were no survivors of the last war. We are alone on this planet, and in the Metro it's common knowledge. But I did hear that call on the radio with my own ears. Yes, it was immediately droned out by the static, but I had heard it. Which means that somewhere out there, under the skies, there's still a habitable place. We're not doomed to live the rest of our lives underground. Still, nobody believes me. Haven't you spent enough time in the sick bay? All right, let's get moving. Oh, father will kill me if he finds out I went out with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa off-limit zone. <laughs> Have you been to all these ruins? <sighs> See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. I had to scare a demon away. It was getting too comfortable here. should come back to the order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Your turn now. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa! Hear that? Turn the light off. Did you hear that? Again! They didn't notice us. That was a large pack. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that.
about we take the bridge to cross the railroad? It would save us a detour. Damn, too high. Hey, Artyom, help me get out there. should have checked first, assholes. Artyom, thank already. God. You've These people, the they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. Oh, they did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one you for what's that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We, we aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole metro about this. The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back. Fool, he couldn't live. Let's go. 
Attention! The turntable is switching on! Straight to the ravine if you don't shut up. Now listen, if you come out of here, we won't accept this shit again. Okay? Animals. How can they? What can I do? The mutant? The watchman! Human! How did you... Oh, oh my god! It's you she's been screaming about! Alive! You came for her! All right. I'll help. Finally, I'll be of some use. Okay, they took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance, too many guards, but we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. Distracting. 
well done. sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Get ready, Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go. All on Who are you? Andrei Ivanovich Yermak, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar, then go to it. I'll get you out of here. They know me, so I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, ah, uh, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope. Uh, hey guys, be careful. Artyom, I see the enemy. <sighs> Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Atyon. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. Atyon, incoming two of them. I'll give you some cover from above. Did they? A chopper brought them and then scooted. Oh yeah, a 
Each and every boarding. Naturally, they're pretending to be civilians. You rookies all think you know everything after a week of service. Yeah, yeah, I don't know shit, I don't know. This place looks weird. Good. Still, we should stay alert. Freezing to death here. That's a shiver. Now we can survive the cold. Something else gives me the shit is all. Tell me, why are we here? Why? I guess we got the back door. Exactly. And how are we supposed to guard it with this guy? Well, our good guns are gathering dust back home. What if they aren't gathering dust? I think our military's preparing a full lot of salt to get rice and cool the rest. So they need to find it. Check on the radio. Check this out. Attention! The command center came under enemy attack. The attackers are assumed to still be on the base territory. Artyom, I'm changing position. All unauthorized persons are to be fired upon immediately. Civilian personnel movement is prohibited until further notice. Hey! Attention! The jamming system is coming back online. It's us, covering you! Artyom, the hangar is right there. What the hell is this? Gotta tell maintenance. Group B, continue patrolling the courtyard in the generator room. Group A, check the wind turbine zone. Communications were lost there. Damn, how many guards do they have? Thank you. 
Nothing over there. to the generator room. Am I glad to see you here? Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. All right. We don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there and Come switch on, the turntable mechanism on. And please, be careful. We could easily have the whole base on us.
Let's do this together. Just a little. legislation dictates they be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to... It's not my this call, and you know Misunderstanding. Well, I general. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course. Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. The no one behind. It's it's not not it's it's cool. Cool. All right, Spartans. Throw these overboard and pull steam ahead. Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch them there. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! Getting irradiated on the surface, my father just kept lying! Lying to you, to me, to everyone! The whole fucking world! And not even batting an eye! Let them think we are surrendering. 
Ah, finally some good steps. Now, keep breaking to a stop. Rocket and Ace will barely scratch their pain, so... How about from the inside? Not enough explosives. Unless we put everything we have in their firebox. Please, let me do it, Colonel, sir. I will be appointing the volunteers here. Aren't you? We stopped a hundred. 
all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder, what next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double-checked it. Stepan's in the green, too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who are those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you uh, mean, what? did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, Command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the SHIELD system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air! And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, I'll before be Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, Maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we're traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station. Shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Attention. Attention. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow the Wait a moment, what was that? Everyone who can hear me. Everyone still loyal to the cuts. Proceed to the rally point. Rally Listen, point everyone! Point. So, is this what you had in mind? Yes! This is it! The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work! 
We will tell them that Moscow is alive! It wasn't all for nothing! Everything will change! Everything! Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world! Yeah. Yeah. By the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for... <clears throat> Bring it out, Demir! Bring what out, Colonel? Sir! That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, uh, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Well, let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time. Let's go around and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell! <laughs> Even better. Oh, come How about on! Aurora, the Roman goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? That's better. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Ah, beautiful name! Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's drink to the Hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round. That should be enough. You're back. Full steam ahead. Hi. Full steam ahead. Wow, that's yeah, some yes. distance. I wonder how long it will take. Oh, Anna. I was expecting an arrow from a kid, but I got a bullet from an ugly motherfucker instead. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you're okay? Because I know you. Just so you know, scars attract the ladies. And there's definitely a lot of those up ahead. I don't need a lot, really. It's quality that matters. Hello there, Artyom. It seems to me, whether it was intended or not, that our colonel now has a goal to strive for because of you. We all remember the way you fought back in D6, so no matter what lies ahead, we're with you. You can count on us. Yeah, yes. As for me, I'm running a little inventory check. Yeah, it is kind of cramped in here. I'm thinking of making something of a workbench. So that's all the instruments we get, and everything else will be within arm's reach. With no workbench, you just lose small components. We'll use this place to work on the weapons, cleaning, boiling, keep out of everybody's way, and keep them from messing with my stuff. And well, we'll have to take turns, of course, but we'll manage. So, if you find any weapons you'd like to keep, I'll store them for you here on the Aurora, and you can come back to exchange them. You'll get them back in their best shape ever, don't you doubt. Oh, boy, have I cleaned and oiled a lot of weapons in my life. Hmm, factory, and homemade, too. Some of those were just amazing, so unusual. So, if you have any weapon-related questions, I'm your man. And weapons, they are like girls. They need attention. You clean your weapon well, you oil it, you check the ammo. Because these dirty ammo caps do get rusty sometimes. But if you put your heart into it, the weapon never fails. Ah, well, I'll just finish oiling this one, then start on another.
there to drink to Aurora. I still think Beelzebub was a better name. <laughs> By the way, did you come to trade places with me? Or did you just want some exercise? I heard that. Monotonous labor calms you. Well, it's no lie. I do feel this calm, you see? Idiot says it's dynamic meditation. That philosopher doesn't come here to meditate often. After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they? while we were eating each other alive in the metro. We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau, if we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller, and we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed, that we'll get some answers? Anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life, the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the bridge! <laughs> Shots fired! Four bogies on a trolley! Oha! Report for the bridge! 